Hey guys, Caden Resell here, back at you with another What Sold video, sort of week 31 of 2023. Start out with some plush sales on eBay. This little elephant, I got this uh, whenever I was in Florida for the Fleet Across Florida. This sold for like $17, I paid two. Uh, $17 free shipping, not really worth it. Well, maybe it was, I don't know, it took a while to sell though. Mickey and Minnie sold for like 14 I probably paid 50 cents each for those. Elsa, Elsa sold for 14 probably paid 50 cents for her. And these are, those were all free shipping, those before I changed to plus shipping. This book sold on Amazon for like three or four bucks plus shipping. Uh, it's free to me at this point, so why not? <laughs> Woody on Amazon for 23, I think, plus shipping. Paid five or six for him originally. This Batman Begins GameCube game. Finally adjusted my prices and it sold uh, within a couple hours of me adjusting my price. It sold for 16 plus shipping on Amazon. That is the scale. <laughs> Got two LSU items going out. This LSU jersey signed by various players. This is Trendon Holiday um, is the number and player, but I don't think he actually signed it. Uh, I got Derry Beckwith, who actually went to high school with Demetrius Bird, who caught the touchdown against Auburn. Go Tigers. LSU Tigers. Um, this sold for like $30 plus shipping. And then this baseball signed by Skip Burtman, along with some other various people. There's a Skip Burtman signature. This sold for $25 plus shipping. It has Mike the Tiger as well. <laughs> and this Sold for five bucks plus shipping. Joe Camel uh, koozie, not really worth picking up. Don't pick it up if you're uh, outsourcing. But I already had it, so might as well go ahead and sell it. The best sales to start out the week are some Funko Pops. This is the amazing Carlos Funko Pops. These were worth way more at one point. They still sold for one hundred fourteen dollars on Mercari. I think I paid like twenty two dollars each for these, so I am making some profit on these. But uh, yeah, overall they were three thousand pieces. Three thousand for this one and fifteen hundred for this one. They were selling for way more. Unfortunately, they were not, you know, like not a specific franchise. They're just made up Funko characters. That's just why they're not really uh, going for too much. And then the last sale for a hundred dollars is Yummy Mummy. Story on this one. <laughs> At one point, I sold this on Amazon, and they returned it. Amazon gave me a credit for it because the box was damaged. They don't obviously don't know how to ship it. It was FBA, so Amazon didn't know how to ship stuff FBA usually. It's twenty five hundred pieces. They send it back to me which usually they don't send the item back to you whenever they take responsibility for damaging it. So I had it back. I was like, well, might as well list it again. Still sold for $100. So I probably made over $300 on this one uh, Funko Pop right here because I sold the first one for like $200, $250 whenever it was new in the packaging. So yeah, not a bad way to start out the week. The sales for today are pretty small, uh, but some decent ones. 23 or 24 bucks for this Harley Davidson shirt. It's got like the vents in the back. Um, it's a cool Harley Davidson shirt. Probably paid a dollar or less for that. Tangi sold on Amazon for $59 plus shipping. Paid $16 for her originally. This big thing of rods, like little toy wooden rods you use for geometry and stuff like that. Uh, it's for school. Since school starting, people are buying the school stuff I have now, I guess. This sold for $47 free shipping. I think it cost like $10 to ship USPS Ground Advantage. And last but not least is a PlayStation game. Gundam Battle Assault 2. Uh, it does come with the little book and the game as well. Game was tested and working. So good sale there for $37. I think I got this whenever I was up in Pittsburgh a year or two ago. But I only paid like a dollar for it. So really cool find there. That's it for sales. Four sales going out. But hey, still some decent sales going out. It's better than none. And I did get two Amazon FBA boxes shipped out today. So that'll be, I think that was probably around 60 items going to Amazon. Or a little bit more than that. So that'll be good when, this, when those start selling too. Here are the sales for today. Starting out with eBay. Most of the sales are on eBay. These Teen Titan Go Mystery Blind Packs sold for 12 bucks free shipping. Just getting rid of them at this point. This Wilson A2000 glove sold for 76 plus shipping. Usually these sell for a lot more, but this one is in really not so great condition. The, it's starting to crack right here. I did probably put some uh, glove butter is what it's called, I think, which can help condition it, but it didn't really do so great. So I'm just going to let whoever buys it recondition it and make it better. Stormtroopers, these three little mini fit Lego minifigures sold for 70 or 65 bucks plus shipping. Yeah, three little minifigures. They were from one of the older Lego sets, which is why they sold for so much. Best sale is going to be this CD right here. $100 for this Camille Saint S A E N S Saints or Sans, however you say that. Henry the Eighth CD. It's new and sealed. 100 bucks. Not bad. Also sold some little pet shop for $20 plus shipping. Had them on auction. Um, I got one bid and they sold. So I think I paid like five or six for those originally. Amazon. Rosie for like 13 plus shipping. Baratelli for 10. Prince Priscilla for 
14 these all cost around five or six dollars each so you know it's a little bit more cost more whenever i'm buying it to sell on amazon because usually ra retail arbitrage this one didn't nope it was a free to me book this came out of the recent storage unit buys about five storage units in one day uh i'm gonna try and do a video where i let y'all vote on which storage unit y'all think is the best one and then i'm gonna come back with which one was the best one so that should be fun to do uh Got a, I'm going to wait for a little bit to do that to give stuff a chance to sell. But this sold for $43 plus shipping. Um, it came out of one of the storage units. I'm not going to tell you which one, though, because it might influence your voting. Last but not least, I sold a lot of, like, 10 or 11 Funko Pops. These are all from the franchise Fallout. Uh, these sold for $100 plus shipping. So I'm not going to show you all of them. The first one I saw these at the yard sale I went to, I was like, oh, the Stormtroopers. Because, you know, they kind of look like Stormtroopers. These are, like, power armor from Fallout. I never watched Fallout. If it was even a show, but I know it was a video game. Um, I didn't don't think they ever made it into a show. Maybe they did, but this is from Fallout. So yeah, these guys looked like stormtroopers. They weren't. I knew they weren't because you know they had like the things going around the sides. But yeah, hundred dollars plus shipping for Fallout, and that's it for sales for today. Here are the midweek sales, Wednesday slash Thursday sales. Starting out with Mercari, I guess my first bundle deal I've ever had on Mercari. These two access and allies is Germany and United States. These sold for, I think, 45 bucks on Mercari. Free shipping on Mercari. Also sold this Indiana hat for, like, 17 on Mercari. And then this Edgar Beanie Boo for, like, 18 I think, is what he sold for. So Halloween's somewhat coming up, so someone's preparing for Halloween, I guess. Poshmark, I had two sales. Pretty good for Poshmark. These Skechers Flex 4.0s, Flex Lite 4.0s, sold for, like, 25 They were free to me. And then this... These Polo Ralph Lauren boots, I guess you could call them boots, sold for 45 plus shipping. I got these out of the recent store, one of the recent storage units. Moving on to eBay, not too great on eBay. This is also from Access and Allies. They sold for like $6 plus $4 shipping. It's the little certificates you get, um, some kind of production certificates. Palace Pets, probably paid four or five for these. They sold for, I think, 21 well, uh, or yeah, 21 plus shipping, I think, somewhere in that range. And then this Nintendo Switch game case, it's the case only, unfortunately, came out of a storage unit, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Unfortunately, like I said, only the case. Amazon sold four of Luisa the Penguin. I had four left, and someone bought all four of them. I think they paid like 13 each, um, and then they shipped together, so it does make it a little bit cheaper. Benny Squishmallow, he sold for 60 plus shipping. Glad to get rid of him. I paid 9.98 plus tax for him originally. Sold BB-8 for like 40, I think 40 plus shipping. And then last but not least for today, sales Jack Skellington, the Squishmallow, sold for like, I think he sold for 15 or 20 plus shipping. So not a bad day of sales, not any high dollar sales, but still decent amount of sales. Here are my sales for today. Starting out with Poshmark where I had a bundle deal. One of my first ever bundles done. Uh, this Tinkerbell tile, a little tile for Tinkerbell, uh, along with Tinkerbell the doll and Kermit the T.Y. tie beanie this one these together sold for like 21 dollars i think on a bundle deal so somebody likes green things because they got kermit and tinkerbell that's some more tinkerbell stuff they didn't buy maybe it wasn't on poshmark i don't know um on mercari these two star beanie boos same one uh both with the tags not new per se but they both have the tags still these sold for like 13 free shipping on mercari also sold a pair of shoes on mercari nike acgs these sold for $88. I don't remember what I, where I got these from. I think I paid 8 bucks for these originally. On eBay, this Southern Miss hat sold um, within a day of listing it. I really, I've had this forever. Just wasn't sure how to list it. Couldn't find anything on it. So I put it at $50 plus shipping and it sold within a day. So I might have underpriced it a little bit, but I never, I never, I looked on Terapeak, Worth Point, everywhere. And a Google Lens as well could not find this hat. So it's a really cool Southern Miss Golden Eagles hat. Also sold two DVD, these DVDs, Republic of Doyle Seasons 2 and 3. This only sold for like 10 bucks plus shipping, so not much money there. Uh, Dole Whip, this, one, this thing sold for 13 plus shipping on eBay, like I said. And then some wrestlers. This is a, <laughs> I haven't sold many of these. I, I got, guess I must have overpriced these or something. I don't know what comps I was looking at when I bought them. I sold these for $20 free shipping. I had them listed for like 35 or 40 so I just took the offer. I was ready to get rid of them. Moving on to Amazon. Len the Frankenbear sold for like 25 plus ship. Two Kiki's Beanie Boos. I got these for like 50 cents each. They sold for $5 plus shipping each. A book from the store of June that produced all the books. Apologia book. Marcel Lefebvre. Lefebvre however you say that. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. 
And last but not uh, Silver 20 plus ship. This Kate and the Cow Silver Flight 12 plus ship, I probably paid 10, so I'm not going to make any money if I make any money on that one. But that's it for sales for today. Here are my weekend sales, starting out with Mercari first. Samantha the Owl, she sold for like $21, $20. She's 8 at Squish Mall. I paid 76 cents for her originally, so a good sale there. These two dolls, Anna and Elsa from Frozen Fever, sold for like 45 plus shipping, I think, something like that. I don't know, 45 free shipping on Mercari. Sold this Cremu cable knit sweater for like 20 bucks, I believe, on eBay. It'll ship on, in the padded front rate envelope. I think it'll fit in there. On eBay, Rustic Country Home, Better Home, and Garden Wax Melts. These sold for like 20 bucks, I think. Paid like 50 cents each or less for those at Walmart. Sold some duct tape for $17 plus shipping. Someone I had a big lot of duct tape listed. I got this out of the, one of the teacher storage units that I think the Woodcock Johnson things came in. Uh, but yeah, this sold for $17 plus shipping <laughs> for two rolls of duct tape. This Delta Coordinates Victorian Collection robe double robe hook. This is new in the packaging. Someone is remodeling their house, I guess. It sold for like $28 free ship. Funny story on this shirt. This LSU shirt sold for like $20. Bucks. The one that I actually sold, I could not find it. So I mess I found a couple other ones that uh, that I found somewhere else. This one matched, pretty much matched the one they did buy. So they said it would be okay to substitute this one. So luckily for me, um, I don't have to cancel an order because it wasn't in the correct, it wasn't in the tote up there is <laughs> where it's supposed to be. Uh, this zombie monster jam truck sold for like nine bucks plus shipping, not much money, but I paid 50 cents for it. So can't lose there. Freedom Under Armour shirt for like 15 bucks. I believe I paid it. I think I, this came in a storage unit, but either way, I paid a dollar or it's, it was free to me. Beanie Baby for like eight plus shipping. This is Hoppity. Baratelli, Baratelli, however you say this one's name, sold for like 12 plus ship, I think. This one, Caden, sold for 12 plus ship. Um, I paid 10, so not going to make any money on that one. The last one of these finally sold, Reginald the dog, sold for like 29 plus shipping. I paid 14.99 plus shipping or plus tax originally, so I'm not going to make... Might make, you know, five or ten bucks, but I'm just trying to get rid of the Squishmallows at this point. And that's it for sales for the weekend. So not that great, but not terrible. <laughs> Thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Next week's Wetzel video is going to be different because I will be out of town. So as y'all are watching this, I'm preparing to leave to go somewhere. So yeah, it'll be like a vlog style, hopefully vlog style video of what's sold and where I'm going. So don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.